Welcome back to Cassidy's Craveable Creations. Today we're making Whole30 Pot Roast in the Instant Pot. Be sure to stick around because I'm going to show you two secrets to make the most tender pot roast you've ever had. And to see more recipes like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell below so you'll be notified each time I post a new video. The first secret is the type of meat you use for your pot roast. We're using a nicely marbled chuck roast. Most people use an eye of round roast and that makes just kind of like a dry, tough roast and I definitely don't recommend that. So if you choose a really nice chuck roast and then you follow the instructions like I'm going to show you and you brown it first, it locks in all those gorgeous, beautiful juices and it will be so tender you won't believe it. So let's start by seasoning the roast with salt and pepper. You want to do that for us? You know it. Okay. I use probably like a round a half teaspoon for each side. That's a quarter, so probably two of those. For each side? Mm-hmm. I like it. Nice salt, lots of salt, and then pepper. I've never really measured how much pepper. Probably, if I did, it'd be around a quarter. That right, there's mm -hmm. a quarter. Wait. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's do the other two side. Two of these. Mm-hmm. <laughs> have a built-in timer. Yeah, okay. Nice. Okay, and so I just, I pushed the saute button just a while ago on the Instant Pot. I'm going to put a little bit of oil in it, and we're going to sear the meat before we cook it. And like I said earlier, this is just going to lock in the juices. And just as a note, if you don't have an Instant Pot, this can also be made in the crock pot. You can sear the meat and then the onions and carrots on the stove and then transfer it to a crock pot. And I'm going to have all the instructions in the principal recipe below in the description. Yeah, Caleb's my pointer. <laughs> okay, so let's put this in the Instant Pot and just get it nice and browned. Okay, so the meat is nice and brown and we just set it aside for a second on a plate. And we're gonna do the same thing with the carrots and the onion. Well, we're gonna chop them and then we're gonna saute them and then we're just gonna add all the ingredients and let it cook low and slow. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to chop these. We're just nice. gonna chop the ends off and I'm not gonna peel these. You can peel them, but it doesn't really matter in a pot roast. Like I'm gonna chop all of them. Yeah, it might be kind of hard. My knife is isn't very sharp. Look at that. Oh, good. And then I chop the little ends off because those are no fun. Okay, and then that? you just want like bite-sized pieces, like fork-sized pieces. Like this? And if they're super thick, you can cut them lengthwise. Yeah, like that. Maybe make, um, however you want. The real thick pieces, you can cut down the middle. Oh. Unless you don't mind real big, thick. No, we want it to be, we want to be pot. professional. Whatever you want. Well, it's kind of just personal preference, whatever. Like that? Mm -hmm. so don't you and remember. then you can cut them. Okay, so now let's do the onion. Do you remember how to cut an onion? I do not. Okay. So I always cut the end off right here. Probably this side. The side that's all messy. I just chop that off. Okay. And now put it down so it's flat and it doesn't roll around. And cut, chop it down the middle. Okay. And then you turn it on its side. Uh, well, we need to take the little... You want to take that off? Take the, what is this called? The skin off. It's layers. Yeah. Why do you have to say of layers, you know? Yeah, I hope I don't start crying. Yeah. I never used to be sensitive to onions, and I didn't understand why everyone cried when they killed onions, and it's like, I don't know what's wrong with everyone. And then I quit wearing contacts, and I cry like a little baby because it burns so bad. Uh, okay, so now you set it down flat, and you do um, almost all the way through horizontally. You have to be careful because my knife isn't very like sharp. Yes, and do at least one or two more. 
Like that? Mm-hmm. Man, I'm getting good at this chopping onion thing. Yeah. Okay, so then you kind of turn it, and then you slice it down all the way across. Did I go through? It seems not. No, don't go all the way through to the end. It all seems, the way to the table, though. Yes. It seems difficult, but once you get it down. Like this. Super easy. Yes. Mm-hmm. I don't want to do one more. Okay. And then turn it, and then you go down. And This way? Yes. Is this the final? Yes, this is the final oh, cut. Yeah, look at that. So now they're tiny little pieces. <laughs> I am a, I'm a professional onion chopper. Okay. Look at that. Okay, we're going to take a little see, break because Phil's really crying. <laughs> and we'll saute these. <laughs> this guy. I don't even know what, what to say about him. <laughs> he can't handle the heat in the kitchen, I guess. I the onions, they're too much. <laughs> so the onions and carrots, they're, they're sauteed. They've got, I like to saute especially the onions because they get kind of a sweet caramel taste to them, which is really, really yummy. So you want to pour in some beef broth, and we're just going to kind of deglaze the pan, which just means I want to scrape you up. You want to do all of it? Yep. I'm just going to scrape up all the yummy bits off the bottom. Nice. Okay, now we're going to add all the seasonings. You can just add them in one at a time. Okay. Okay. Does that it matter one? which one? Nope. Any order. That This is thyme. It's about thyme. Yeah. I love thyme. I use it in so many of my recipes. It's one of my favorites. Me too. What's this? Onion powder. Ooh, that's kind of stuck, isn't it? <laughs> What's wrong with it? <laughs> Here, let me use my hand. Here. There we go. I could do this too. I got it. <laughs> okay, this one's garlic powder. Me. They're all kind of stuck. I don't know what happened. Parsley. You want to know. That right? one came. Yes. And then a nice sprig of fresh rosemary. It smells so good. Oh man. It really so adds something special to have a, a fresh sprig of rosemary. And then at the end to put it on top when you serve it, everyone will just think it's so gorgeous and pretty and be impressed. <laughs> okay, so we have we have all the stuff in there. We're gonna put the meat on top of the liquid ingredients, onions and carrots. And all that's left are the are the potatoes. So let's get these bowls out of the way. And we're just going to cut the potatoes into bite-sized pieces and stick it on top of the stick them on top of the meat. You can just cut them, and I don't peel these either. You Are just they going to make me cry? No. Okay. You can just cut them into like maybe four to six pieces. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just do three. I don't know. It's not exact science. So I would just do three across. It, that way and then one across lengthwise maybe nice doesn't really matter it's just whatever size you want your potatoes to be in they your could. instant pot yeah and so Seems just do well i kind of like big pieces of, of what are they okay <laughs> not carrots i keep wanting to say carrots potatoes potatoes. <laughs> potatoes because then i can open them up and put like some ghee on them and salt and pepper and mm -hmm. kind of have them like a separate baked potato thing going on Thank you. I'm getting good Don't at do things. so many that the potatoes go over the, the line. See, there should be a little line in here, the max max fill line. So definitely just don't don't cover that line because it can ruin your instant pot. And that that's it. So now this just cooks low and slow. And this is actually the second secret to get a really tender pot roast is how long you cook it. Because most people, they, they cook their pot roast and they check it and it's tough and they think, oh, I overcooked it, but that's not the case. The longer you cook a pot roast, the more tender it is. So if, if you open this up and you stick a fork in it and you turn and it doesn't just fall apart, you need to cook it longer because you want fork tender pot roast that's totally delicious. So we are going to cook this for 75 minutes and when we come back, it's going to be so perfect. <laughs> Okay, so this just finished cooking and it smells so good. The house just smells so, so good. And I love my nifty little lid holder right there. And so let's try it, shall we? Oh yeah, I can't wait. And it does okay. smell very good. Yeah. Oh wow. The I, meat I get the taste just, test, right? Yeah, you do. The meat is so tender. It's taste tester. Apart. 
Here we go. Yeah. And let's get you like some potatoes here. Do you want another potato? Uh, yes. Okay. Purple carrots. It's so tender. Yeah, it is. It's really tender. This is my vegetable for the day. <laughs> Your one vegetable. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> Are you okay. watching? Let's put some ghee on the potatoes. Mm. Oh, these look so hey, good. Hey, even the carrots are good, man. A little bit of salt and pepper. You're just eating before I even get it. I'm get sorry. It. No, that's okay. That's okay. Let me try the potato, though. Okay. Wait, you want to put some pepper on it? Yeah, I do. Okay. While you're doing that, I'm going to eat this. Okay. Mm. I had some ketchup, but that's okay. Meat and potatoes. <laughs> They're really good whole 30 ketchup. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah, that smells and looks so good. Mmm. When you get the chance to make this, please let me know what you think in the comments below. And be sure to stick around through the whole video because I have two secret ingredients. Secrets. <laughs> Welcome back to Cassidy's Capable Creations. Today we're making, I forgot what we're making. This. <laughs> Whole 30 pot roast. In this. In the instant pot. Okay. Clear out some of the smoke. <laughs> Get out of here, smoke. Yeah. How do I chop the carrot? Okay, so this just finished cooking and it smells amazing. The whole house smells so, so good. <laughs> I can't get it. <laughs> it goes the you wrong went the way. wrong way. <laughs> 